In this quick screencast tutorial, we are going to find how in Shopify do you find your variant ID, your product ID, your SKU, the things that Shopify uses to identify your products. So it's useful to be able to access this stuff, uh, often as part of troubleshooting, whether it's for an app, uh, an integration, or something like your Google or Facebook product feeds. And so we're going to look at those. And as an example, we're just going to use my wife's store. Uh, so if you open up a product in the admin, this is the easiest way to do it. And I'll also we'll walk through what our things are here. So in the URL, it goes uh, slash admin slash products and then this number. That's your product ID. So slash product slash the number right there, product ID. That's the actual unique identifier that Shopify uses uh, internally to identify a product. And then if you scroll to the bottom of this page, this uh, this URL slug is the handle. And so it's, if we hit edit in the search engine listing, it's this guy, that guy's the handle. All right, so that's the other way product pages get identified in here. It's by uh, product ID or product handle. So, okay, we got those two. Well, now there's two more because that the ID and the handle, they identify, here, if I open this up, they identify this whole page, you know, but we have... If you've got multiple colors, styles, sizes, well, each one of those needs its own unique identifier as well. So handle and ID gives us the, the whole encompassing group of the product options. But within that, you've got at least one variant, right? And so how do we get those? Well, uh, similar method. So like looking at this product, if we watch the URL, even as I change the sizes, you could see the number up here changes. And it even, here's the giveaway. I mean, it tells you variant equals flat out. It's telling you in the URL. So those are the variant IDs. The other way to grab it, uh, if you hit edit, and where is it? I know there's a way to do this where you can edit the SKUs. Oh, here it is. Scroll down and look at the URL. So I'm on the variant here. This is like an easy visual way to do it. The variant here is black, extra small. And then up here, I could see product, the product ID, Variant, the variant ID. Aha, okay, we got it there. Fabulous. Let's go back. And then the, in here, we can also find the SKU. There it is. That is the other way we identify variants, either by SKU or by variant ID. And then uh, our, our main product is by product ID or product handle. All right, now here's like, you want the super cool hacker trick to do this. If you're looking at a product page in your Shopify admin, just add .xml on the end of it. So X like xylophone, M like mother, L like life. Enter. Look at that. It spits out this, uh, it's just really meant for machines, but a human readable sane listing of here's everything Shopify knows and you could conceivably want to know about your product. This is more data than is even in the spreadsheet that Shopify will give you if you export your products. And you can see right at the top, it goes product ID. Boom, there's the product ID. And it's got all our other stuff in here. There's our handle that we were just talking about. Uh, scrolling on down, then we could see variant ID. So here it's got, we can see our variant ID and the title of that variant, and then even our SKU. And so I like using, um, like when I just want to go find the stuff myself, this is what I do. I just find the product in the store and I append .xml to the URL, and then I grab it from here. Makes, makes life fairly, fairly easy. So that's it. That's how you find those four identifiers, product ID, variant ID, product handle, and variant SKU. And if you're ever trying to troubleshoot, you need that info, you know, an app developer asks you for it for whatever reason, now you know how to get it. Hope that helps.